So welcome in uh, Oxnard, California. We are here for a robotic solution for picking fruits and more particularly uh, strawberries. We are here in, uh, with Matt. Hello, Matt. Hello, how's it going? I'm good, I'm good. Thank you for hosting us and sharing your experience. Oh, anytime, anytime. I love having people come out. <laughs> Could you please uh, present your, your farm and, uh, and what we're going to see today? Again, my name is Matt Conroy here at Good Farms uh, Strawberry Farm here in Oxnard, California. We're in the middle of 100 acres of conventionally grown strawberries. Um, as you can see, uh, we grow strawberries on an elevated bed, roughly 15 inches tall, and it's 64 inches from center to center on the furrow. Um, the way that that works is the harvesters would then be in charge of two bed or plant rows per side as they harvest. So why did you decide to start working with uh, this uh, company? So Advanced Farms is actually the uh, third robotic harvesting company that I've personally uh, worked with. Um, again, here uh, at this particular site, we do a lot of R&D with startup companies. Um, Advanced Farm reached out to our leadership and then ended up you know, here with me at the ranch as just another startup company uh, that wanted to do uh, strawberry harvesting. And we like to be very innovative. And so having new companies come in and, and be part of our process and, and you know, I try to mentor them as best I can with some of the old ways. I've been doing this now for over 30 years, so I've got a lot of history on how we used to do it, and I, I feel I have a lot of vision on how we can move it into the forward, into the future. So melding the two together with the new technology and the new visions, um, working with them was just a. It just it makes sense, you know. Uh, they're they're a great team to work with, and and their vision aligns with our vision, and it just it makes a lot of sense. So you said that you are working with uh, all. The technical uh, innovative uh, product can you tell us maybe what kind of product um, I have I have a, another uh, machine that that does something completely different that um, that uh, sucks up a certain pest that we have a problem with okay um, and it's a it's a, a unit that does that we also are working with other products for uh, our irrigation systems and really making them more automated and more efficient. more efficient and just, you know, water's a big issue here in California. So we're trying to do everything that we can to use the appropriate amount of water, not use over water and make sure that we don't have anything or anything bad go into any of the aquifers or any of the uh, watersheds. How many machine uh, do you have uh, here in operation? So at this present time, we have uh, three units which have four robotic arms per unit. Okay, and when did you start working with uh, Advanced Farm? Um, I've been working with Advanced Farm now. Uh, we're just starting, I believe, our our fourth year. Um, so we've been with them from the beginning, from the inception, um, being out in the field at midnight in uh, covert ops with them, so nobody can see, and, and just you know working in the dark to where we're at now. Do you have any idea of? Um how many hours or how many acres you have already like covered with uh, this uh, robotic machine? Um, the way that we've worked it here with the, the machines is, it, it's it's they, they, we work every day, Monday through Saturday, so six days a week, and we try to cover at a minimum uh, five to ten acres a day. So, um, so Matt, uh, who is operating the machine right now? So um, the way that, that it works is I have a, an individual that uh, works for me here uh, on site, um, but he only works for me in, in, in name. He actually is a, a go-between between ourselves at Good Farms and uh, the Advanced Farm team. So he's physically operating the units, but he is in constant conversation uh, with the Good Farm staff, software support or engineering, depending on if there's a problem or an issue. Um, he's right there, Johnny, on the spot to help, you know, diagnose things or just be aware of, of any potential issues. Okay. And uh, so when you have any, like, issues, how does it work? Is it... Uh um, Advanced Farm has done a really good job of setting up platforms, uh, digital platforms on the phone. So when there's an issue, um, an alert is sent out from the robot to a, a, a software platform to where the operator then can see it, help diagnose it. And the engineers, um, wherever they may be, can also see that and help diagnose and really do a collaborative effort to get the machine back up and running as fast as possible. So it's a collaboration work. Exactly. Okay. 
And uh, for the logistic, uh, I don't know if you have all your field in one plane, field, one area, mm -hmm. or do you have uh, a different spots? So uh, as a company, we have different we have different farms in different districts. Um, the units that we have here will only stay on this field, and they'll work throughout the whole season. So they'll start in January and go all the way up until the middle of June to complete our season. Um, and the way that I operate with the units is they do not have a designated area. We're going to put them to where they can succeed the best. So that way we can get the best out of them, the best information and the best and largest amount of learning. Okay. And how works the logistics? Do you have, a, if you want to move them from a, a field and area to another one, how does it work? Um, the way that that would work is a, it's just a coordinated effort between ourselves and uh, the advanced farm team. Okay. Uh, so now we're gonna we're gonna talk about uh, how do you use the machine. So you have said that you use them uh, since four years. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't remember how many acres is. <laughs> so we try to cover five to ten acres a day. Um, I try not to put a a designated acreage associated with the machine. Um, they still are in the R and D process. Mm -hmm. So I, I I my goal is to make it so they can't fail. You know, I want them to be successful. So without setting that goal, if something does happen, it happens and we can learn from it and we can move on. Um, the way that we operate the machines is we have the machines go through and then we'll have a harvest crew go through afterwards and just do a cleanup and then uh, compare the two and, and really gauge to see how well they're doing. Do you, use, do you use the machine one by one or do you use them as a fleet? So we, we use them in more of a, a fleet strategy so that way they're going together because we like to try to cover an area to completion rather than just having a checkerboard effect in the field. Mm. And how many, like how often do you put the machine in your field? Yeah, six days a week. Six days a week, but uh, in the same field. I mean. So in the same field uh, with a strawberry field, the rotation that we have here on site is we pick every plant every other day. So we'll divide the field in half, and so we'll move the machine from one side to the other side, depending on which day they're on. Do you see using it like in two shift, three shift? So what we're what we're really looking at is is how we're going to marry the whole field to a fleet of these machines and that's part of what we're doing now is going through and looking at all the data and all the stats and and how well the machines can physically manage the field and at that point we scale up to a size to, to what we feel we can pick um, half of our field in one day and at that point we'll we'll probably pull the trigger and and really again with the advanced farm team and the good farms team scale up the whole operation so that yes we will be machine harvesting the field at some point in time in the future and then we'll have to have a smaller crew come back afterwards and help clean up so what would you improve on this machine you know i think the improvements are happening daily the software team is constantly upgrading things the hardware team is you know we're always getting new parts and new pieces um, they're very good at listening to any kind of communication from the field whether it's myself the operator or even our harvesters will have ideas and, and the advanced farm team is, is done a really good job of hearing those those concerns and problems and, and adapting their machines for that. So what would be like the top uh, two things that you would, be, you would like to improve if in a oh. dreaming world? Oh you know? my gosh. But we are farmers. We always want more. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, it, it always comes down to you know you want you want it to be more efficient and pick better. You know, those yeah. are always the top things. Picking and, quality. And picking quality. You know, and there's there's just certain things that we need to understand that it's still a machine. You know, a, a, a person and with all of our senses are are still light years ahead of any machine so we need to take that into consideration you know i'd love for it to pick identically to any of my harvesters it's gonna take it, it, it's gonna take more. it's gonna take take a while and um so you're working with a lot of innovative uh, companies what would be the advice that you would give to to people uh, watching us you know i think the biggest advice is is just listen you know, I, I've worked with a handful of, of robotic companies and innovative companies and, and where their biggest downfall is they don't listen well enough to what is coming out of wherever it is, whether it's a strawberry field or a manufacturing plant or wherever it is. Listen to the people that are in that process. Listen to what they say and then really try to work to meld everything. It's not always about reinventing the wheel, but it's about how to make the wheel fit in all the different parameters that's needed at that time because at the end it's a collaboration exactly exactly 
Uh, I think that's uh, that's good for me, Matt. Thank Excellent. you very much for sharing your, your experience with uh, the viewers of Future Farming. I'm glad you could come out. And uh, yeah, it was a pleasure to, to see this machine working and uh, we will see us uh, again in, a, in the next episode soon. Have a good one. Thank you, have a good day.